Our next stop is one of the many picturesque views in Southeast Louisiana. Take a look at this gravel pathway shaded by moss draped live oaks. And at the end of it, you can see one of the oldest homes in Louisiana. Welcome to the Destrehan Plantation. Here you will not only learn the history of the owners, but also the enslaved men and women who built this plantation and made it thrive. And everybody, I've made it out here. I'm super excited to learn more about this plantation, but I cannot do it alone. Join me now for a conversation. It's Miss Janice Mulvihill. She is a River Road Historical Society and Destrehan Plantation Historical Interpreter. Welcome. Thank you and welcome to you. Thank you so much for having us here. I am so interested about this place. Let's talk a little bit more about this plantation. What is the history? And tell me a little bit more about the owners. Okay, well, there's a lot of history here. It's history in your own backyard. Mm. And this house is the oldest existing plantation house in the Mississippi Valley. Wow. It was completed in 1793. It was actually built by a free man of color. When he started building, he was enslaved. Wow. His father was able to purchase his freedom during the construction process, so it was built by a free man of color. There are some really cool exhibits that you can see here at Destrehan Plantation. We're about to actually go check out two of them. Okay. Are you ready to go see it? I'm ready to I'm tell ready. you the story. Come on, let's go. All right, everybody, we have made it inside. And Janice, this first exhibit we're talking about really documents the 1811 slave revolt. Yes. Please tell me a little bit more about that revolt and what's documented here in this exhibit. Okay, well, the 1811 slave revolt, also known as the German Coast Uprising, was the largest rebellion by enslaved persons in American history. Largest because there were at least 200 enslaved people involved. Wow. And what it was, was actually a freedom walk. Mm. A lot of historians consider it to have been the very first freedom walk in American history. Um, at least 200 slaves started out walking from the La Plaza area uh, down to, their plan was to walk to New Orleans. I have a large group of people, they would recruit other enslaved people from other plantations along the way, walk to New Orleans, demand to see the governor, William Claiborne, mm -hmm. and demand that he give them their freedom. Wow. So it was planned as a freedom walk. And you all yes. document this all throughout the exhibit. So much to learn here at this exhibit. And luckily there's another one here as well. Lots of learning to do here at Destrehan Plantation. Let's head across the hallway to learn more about the next one. All right, Janice, now we're at the Rost Home Colony exhibit yes. here at Destrehan Plantation. I see a lot of names behind me and all throughout this exhibit. Talk to me a little bit about the purpose of this one right here. Okay, sure. Well, the Rost Home Colony was established by the Freedmen's Bureau. At the end of the Civil War, you have thousands of newly freed slaves. Yeah. They need assistance to transition from a life of enslavement to a life of freedom. So the U.S. government establishes the Freedmen's Bureau to help free men. Right. And what that was, they chose four plantations in Louisiana, Destrehan was one of them, and they set up a home colony for newly freed slaves and their families to come here and get medical assistance. They could uh, work the fields and be paid. Their children under age 14 could go to school. Wow. They, they could be made healthy again and just to help them with the transition. And what's unbelievable is that when people come here, I'm sure a lot of people will look at these names and they're like, wait, that's my last name. Yes. And then you all have a book as well. That we once you see a name, you can then open in the book and learn more about them? Yes, we have the names and ages of all 2,000 or so people who came here and spent time here. In addition to the names and ages, we have detailed records of everyone who spent time here, including what plantation they came from, their age, their health condition, what happened to them when they left here. It's a, a wealth of information and we get quite a few people who do want to see, does anyone with my my last name, right. spend time here, and what can I find out possibly about my ancestors? It's truly remarkable when you all yes. come and check out these exhibits here at Destrehan Plantation. Janice, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. You're very welcome.
welcome. Absolutely, and everybody, the cool news is that if you want to learn more about that 1811 slave revolt, there is a QR code that you can scan on the River Parishes Tourism Commission website, and you can learn more about that revolt. And guess who's narrating it, everybody? Actor Wendell Pierce, so cool. And of course, they have so many things going on here at the Tram Plantation. Coming up on March 25th and 26th, they have a Louisiana Garden Show. Make sure to check that out. And every single year for the last 20 years, they've been doing a Heritage Day that's coming up on April 28th. There'll be demonstrations, lots of things for children to see. Make sure you check out the Destrehan Plantation website for all of that. And for more information about everything Destrehan Plantation, you can also visit the Louisiana River Parishes Tourist Commission website at LARiverParishes.com. And you can also follow them on social media as well. The information is also on the Louisiana Office of Tourism website, which is LouisianaTravel.com.